everybody, it's Denise from Wonderland Boutique and today I'm going to teach you how to take an image that you have found on Google or through another search engine and turned it into a transparent um, image to be a cut file through Cricut Design Space. So first and foremost, make sure you're logged into your Cricut Design Space. Um, I'm actually going to look for a Halloween image or It'd be good if I could spell or whatever it is you're looking to make for the day. Um, I'm looking for Halloween because it's never too early to start thinking about Halloween since that's my favorite holiday. Okay, I like this. This is super cute. So what you're going to do is you're going to save your image. Um, I'm just going to save it to my desktop because that's easiest for me. I'm just going to save it as Halloween life and save. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Cricut Design Space. And what you're gonna to need to do is upload the image and upload the image again and hit browse. And then you're going to look for the image from wherever you saved it from. For me, it's my desktop and that's Halloween life. And then I'm gonna open it. Okay, so now you see I have all this white background in the image. I cannot cut the image like this because it's not transparent. So Halloween life and all this spots where it's white, all needs to be transparent. So I'm gonna make, mark this as a simple image. I'm gonna hit continue. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my toolbars up here. There's undo, redo, zoom in, zoom out. I'm gonna zoom in so I can get a better view of this. Now everything that's gray needs to be white. So over here are your transformation tools. You have the magic wand as I like to call it, which is where you select and erase or you have the eraser. The eraser is for individual erasing. So you have to either hold the mouse down or hold it with individual clicks. And this is more for going over uh, erasing in a small image. What we want is the magic wand because check this out. As soon as I hit my mouse, it takes out everything that was gray or white from the original and leaves me with the negative image. Now, I need to get rid of this gray in these small areas, otherwise it's not gonna cut right. And you can see up here, if you zoom in, you can see there's a little gray up here in this corner too. So this is a perfect option to use my erase tool and go over here in the corner and erase that. Now what I'm gonna do is go back to my magic wand, click inside that H and the L, A, oops, here's a perfect example. So I clicked outside of the area that I want to be erased. So go ahead and just use that undo button, super simple. And E. And then the next thing you can do is zoom in even further just to make sure you've covered everything. Look all the way around, looks good. I'm gonna hit preview and zoom out a bit. That was close. Hit preview and that's what my cut image is gonna look like. So I've got my cat, my witch, my spider, my spider web, and Halloween. But here's a perfect example of something else. So with your bare eye, you don't see this mark unless we're under preview. See, hide preview, that's not there. So make sure you go in and erase everything. Otherwise, when you go to cut, that will show up. Let me hit preview again. Okay, we're good to go. So my next step is to hit continue. Oh look, there's some mistakes over here too. I wonder why that didn't come up. So I'm actually going to hit back. Oh, interesting. And some of these images showed up maybe because I was zoomed in, I didn't see. But this is a chance to use the erase image, erase option. The other thing is you can make your eraser bigger. So look at that big area I would be erasing. Or you can make it much smaller for fine detailed areas. So let's get in there and get rid of all of that. All right, so go back to continue. And we want to save as a cut image because I will be cutting this out on vinyl. And it looks good. I don't have any other issues with it. So hit save. Now it's in my library. So when I'm ready to start sizing this and use it for a shirt or a bag design, I'm going to select the option. I'm going to hit insert image. And now it's in my Cricut design space and I'm ready to design with it. So I can choose my size that I want this to be. I can start to make different things, different colors. That's going to be in a different video. And this is where I can start to decide how this is going to look, what colors and the size that I need. 
So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe and bell notification so you can be alerted every time I upload a new video. And make sure you're following Wonderland Boutique on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for joining me today and hope to see you guys again real soon. Bye-bye.